Hi there, my name is Nisha Holmes. I work at Analysis Prime as a senior, senior consultant. Today I'm going to talk about building a waterfall variant within a chart. So what will be covered is I'll show a variance as a waterfall on a bar or column chart and a horizontal waterfall chart. Then I'll move on to showing some formatting options available. And uh, the limitations of this are going to include it's only available with the optimized story experience. It's limited to bar slash column and horizontal waterfall charts. And the variance as a waterfall is not supported when a dynamic variance with multiple accounts is created. So as you can see here, I've built two charts and one is a one is a bar chart at the top, and one is a waterfall chart. So this is net income here. We've got um, investment spend and operating margin. So let's start up here with this, and we will add a variance. And first we'll start out and we'll do a um, version variance and we'll look at actual versus budget we'll select waterfall and here you can either scale with the base chart or not um, I think I'll go ahead and scale with the base chart and we'll see how that looks and you can also if you have a an account that is um, an expense account, um, you can invert the colors here. So as you can see here, this is looking at each month and it's looking at actual versus budget for, um, in this case, we're looking at revenue. So if you want to add, if I were to add another account here, say operating expense, this is when you have that issue where you, you won't be able to render a variance uh, waterfall chart or a variance waterfall. So let's remove both of those and we'll, let's go back to net income here. <clears throat> now one thing here is um, the bars you have uh, for budget. If you were to select a different pattern that pattern will carry up to the access bar above for that version that you're comparing it against. We'll keep it there. So let's take a look at the time dimension. So let's add a date. And we'll do a waterfall. Now this I'm going to, I'm not going to scale it with the base chart because as you can see it's not as readable, but this way it is readable. So as you can see here we're looking at month over month um, variance. So net income, you know, February minus January and so on and so forth uh, for actuals. So what we can do as well is we can actually look at the prior year. So we look at the prior year. Now we're looking at net income uh, actual January 2022 versus 2021. So there's a few, few ways you could go about doing this. So we'll keep it month over month. Just see how, how we're trending month over month there. Okay. So let's move on to um, a waterfall as a variance for a waterfall chart. Again, you can only use a waterfall chart that's horizontal. You, it's not, um, SAC does not yet accommodate for a horizontal waterfall chart for this variance. Waterfall. So we'll go ahead and we'll add waterfall here and let's look at version 
and we're going to look at the budget. We'll look at the difference between actual versus budget. And we're looking at operating margins, so we can certainly expand that. Um, before we do that, let's take a look and see what the scale base looks like. So would we rather have it there or there? Well, right now it looks okay like this, but I think as we start drilling, we may want to turn that off. So let's see how that works. We select a count, and we just drill down. Now I'm, I am right-clicking to bring this up and then I go down to account and expand that account. So this is my... <clears throat> so you can see in my revenue um, for the year, my 2022 year, I'm ahead 290,000. But I am falling short. I didn't hit my budget in commission. So let's dig into that a little more, just see what that looks like and see where we fell short. So it looks like the bulk of that was actually in equities, equity commissions, not mutual funds or fixed income commissions, but equity commissions. So, you know, we can reach out to those business leaders and, and, and see what's driving that um, revenue shortage. So I hope that helps, and um, these would make uh, your reporting hopefully a, a little different and maybe a little more exciting to read. So thank you for attending. Have a great day.